Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the American Dream. I'm Arish Rivers here in San Jose, and today we're taking a look at some of the favorite things to do in downtown. People love coming to San Jose to live, but you gotta cover the side about playing. All right, I'm outside a good time bar here in San Jose with one of the owners, Steven. Pleasure to have you here today. Nice to meet you. Right on, yeah. So tell me a little bit about how you guys got started. You're brand new. Yeah, so uh, San Jose native, been here, you know, born and raised my whole life. I've been enjoying natural wine for the last like six or seven years. Uh, been seeking it, going other places for it, you know, North Bay, Santa Cruz, other places. Kind of wanted to do this sort of in the back of my head for a while. Uh, met a lot of new people that pushed me and, and told me, you know, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> You're you know? on the so, precipice of the cliff and they just pushed exactly. you to go in. And so that, that was it, you know? And so, <laughs> um, and you know, I wanted to do something for San Jose. I, I, I contemplated opening in Campbell, Mountain View, sort of other places, but you know, I thought there's something special about downtown San Jose. So, so what is natural wine for everybody out there like myself who sure. is not too familiar? Yeah, natural wine, I mean, to the sort of encapsulated in, in a, 20 second, you know, bit. It's organic grapes, no spray, no no herbicides, pesticides, no thinning, no filtering. Oh wow! Um, basically, it's 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 making wine with minimal intervention, um, and so much more fun and enjoyable. Sort Man. of democratizing wine for people is like the, the idea. That is a really interesting yeah. idea. I love that. Well, yeah. man, thank you for telling us about good time. Yeah. I wish thank you guys you. luck in all the future it. success. Right? Thank you so much. <laughs> so, Morgan, what do you like the most about downtown San Jose? Um, well, I grew up here, so I guess I just uh, love knowing everybody, um, especially working in this area. Um, walking down the street, you're always going to see a friendly, familiar face. Um, so I really just love all the people that I've got to grow up with. and you know, still get to hang out and drink with out here. <laughs> yes, and that's no lie. Seriously, yeah. so you walk down the street and it's like always familiar face. How's it going? Hello. Yeah. Always a uh, hi, how, yeah, how are you? <laughs> Everyone, guys, you too. Lights. <laughs> Right on, so after some fun axe throwing, I feel like getting into some video games. Feed the nerd side of me, right? Let's go check out Mini Boss. Now we are here at Mini Boss, a downtown favorite that mixes cocktails and video games. It was actually started by a bartender at an old haunt called Single Barrel, which is responsible for most of the cocktail programs here in San Jose. So Kevin, tell me one of the things you love about Mini Boss. Well, one of the things that I love about Mini Boss is that they ha they do have free game nights on Thursdays. So every arcade game here is free, so they can attract people and you know play games for free and drink more. And all their drinks are referenced to like nerds or sci-fi, and it's really interesting. So today we had a good afternoon out in San Jose with a good example of how you can come out to the city and play a little bit. Some bites at good times, some axe throwing at axe men, classic video games at Mini Boss and drinks at cash only. That's only a morsel of what this city has to offer. Come on out and play down here in San Jose. Until next time, I'm Arish Rivers on the American Dream. I'll see you later.